He fell from the Ambassador Bridge and lived to tell about it. Now he's on a mission to thank the people who rushed to help him. Thanks everybody for being with us here at 530. I'm Karen Drew. And I'm Damon Fernandez. Spencer Baker is the man so many people have been waiting to hear from. That's right. As Victor Williams reports, Baker gets emotional when he thinks about what could have happened. Yeah, well, just imagine how terrifying it must have been for that iron worker falling all the way from the Ambassador Bridge into the Detroit River. Now he's trying his best to show gratitude towards the people who made sure that he did not stay there. I mean, there's nothing I could ever do to repay that he saved my life, but I just want to let him know that I appreciate it and I owe him. Ever since he was rescued after falling 150 feet, Spencer Baker has been trying to thank the man who saved his life. I have the man's phone number as the guy that was operating the boat. They come out and rescued me. I've tried to call twice, but I haven't got an answer yet, but I'm still going to keep trying and I, cause I really got a few words I'd like to say to him. Just thank him. He also owes a lot of gratitude to the people who saw him fall in the first place and got help from there. You see yeah, he like that. And if those people weren't there, I probably never get to see my four month old daughter again or my beautiful fiance. And just the thought of that kills me. I'm just so thankful and fortunate for those people that were there that helped me. Because it really saved my life. But what went wrong? Spencer says at first, it was just another day. We were doing a certain task, which is a pretty s simple task, but um, something, a fluke happened and I essentially I was pulled over the guardrail from the road over the guardrail into the water. He doesn't remember much, but at least he wasn't hurt as bad as you'd expect. After being pulled from the water, he discovered his most noticeable injury. I remember laying on my boat or on the boat looking at my looking at my arm, which you can see is all bruised up. They told me that I'm I'm lucky to be alive. And it's going to take some time for that arm to heal, but once again, it's nothing short of a miracle that this man is still here. Victor Williams, Local 4.